G'day Australia, Graham here again. It's been a while. Um, been struggling a bit lately with this lockdown and uh, and trying to um, encourage people to um, stop being silly and start acting um, in the spirit of um, our lawful constitutional common law and unalienable rights. Um, there's a difference between antagonising people and exercising your rights. You exercise your rights lawfully. You don't go out looking for a fight, in my opinion, but shared by a lot of people who have been trying to uh, fully restore our lawful constitution for many years, me included. I just want to call on all those people out there that, that are saying to me, yeah, we'd love to join, but we're not giving you your deta- giving you our details because um, you know of identity theft. The only thing that we're asking you for is your name and address, um, legitimate, um, and uh, your um, your phone number, so we can contact you securely if uh, social media becomes um, even more insecure, um, and also a. Um, uh, a working email address that we can contact you on, preferably a secure email address. That's all we're asking you for. If you've got a driver's license or you pay rent or a mortgage or electricity or gas bill, foreign corporations, and they most of them are these days, have got your details anyway. So if you're worried about identity theft, you these details... Um, uh, whilst they are you, we, they are stored on a secure offline um, uh, database, uh, collected through a secure encrypted email address, um, and basically we're asking you to rebel, so we need you to be bona fide. We can't use um, uh, or we can't exercise our lawful right as the voice of the people if we don't have bona fide people enrolled, uh, you know, to, to, to say, yes, I'm, I'm, this is my will. And your will being um, to stop all the unlawful, unconstitutional acts against Australians and Australia, um, to um, prevent uh, uh, career politicians and their corporate political parties and their corporate governments from making decisions on our behalf um, without our consent. So, um, you know, our lawful constitution, our common law, and our unalienable rights give us choice, okay? Um, freedom of speech, um, freedom of gathering, um, you know, freedom of, uh, of medical treatment, um, and that includes, um, you know, the hot topic, which is vaccines. Um, it's all about choice. It's all about, um, uh, you know, um, common uh, grounding, you know, like a vote, basically, and and within our constitution, our political uh, representatives, bloody politicians, they used to be parliamentary representatives, now they're politicians, big difference. They are obligated to do what's best for Australia and Australians, but they're also obligated to give us the choice through referenda. They they never do it, and they know because they, they won't do it, because they know that if they do it, Nine times out of ten, they'll get knocked back. Have a look at how many referendums we've had, and only eight of them have passed um, the 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 um, the consent of the people. So that's why politicians won't do it because, in many many cases, what they want to do is not in the best interest of Australia and Australians. That's why they won't put it to referendum. Why do you think? And whether you whether you're for gay marriage or against gay marriage, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you should have been given the choice, not not in a a, um, plebiscite because the plebiscite is not binding um, but it should have been in a referenda and that would have given the Australian people the opportunity once and for all to say yay or nay and that's what referenda is all about and the government is obliged to um, uh, adhere to that uh, majority vote and that's what our lawful constitution gives us our common law rights and our unalienable rights give us lots of other freedoms and lots of other uh, opportunities to voice um, a- our opinions and be heard. Um, the political systems in Australia are definitely unlawful because they don't give us, the people, the opportunity to um, have government at our will. In other words, the government uh, must uh, consent 
uh, sorry, consult the people before they make uh, nation-changing, life-changing decisions. You know, the day-to-day -day running of the of the country, not done by politicians anyway, it's done by public servants, um, and one would hope suitably qualified public servants, but, it, you know, over the years, uh, the fat cats have got in there and, uh, you know, and they have taken control um, under, the, under the direction of politicians, and that's got to stop. So all I'm saying to you is there's a lot of groups out there now, and they're doing a fantastic job um, fighting these fights over and over and over again, but the thing is, there's only one big fight that we must win, and that is the full restoration of our lawful constitution. Once we do that, everything else will fold into um, in, into sync because the federal override state, um, we're fighting states at the moment. We're doing this, we're doing that. I'm not telling people to stop. Don't ever stop because the more pressure we put on them, um, the more opportunity we've got to educate more people to understand uh, what's actually being done to them. Not They're not being governed, they're being dictated to and they're being enslaved. Okay, so the, the full restoration of our federal, our Commonwealth of Australia constitution will give the people the opportunity to make the changes they need to make to our lawful constitution so that never again can ever, ever, ever one person or entity have more power or influence in this country than that of the will of the Australian people. Okay, that's that's the thing, and then that will fold back into the states because the states cannot um, um, lawfully, and at the moment they're they're doing it because the, the the federal government is unlawful, so the state governments don't give a crap anyway because they all stick together, giving themselves pay rises and and doing things with uh, with taxpayers' money that that should be um, uh, at the consent of, of of the Australian people, not at the whim of of a political. Uh, party which is uh, uh, governed by its own constitution um, and the political um, um, party members are uh, obligated to their own to party constitution before any anything else so that in itself is unlawful so I urge you all Aussie Patriots role is basically the vehicle that we will use as evidence of the will of the people to get these assholes out of our parliament once and for all to install a a lawful um, governor general or whatever we want to call him um, to oversee uh, the running of the country um, with a panel of Aussies, uh, which w which would be appointed in the interim to make sure that our will is done. And then we have constitutional conventions where around, all around Australia, we've got those, we've got the assets to do it. We've got council buildings, we've got state government buildings, we've got federal government buildings. They all belong to us, the people, yeah? So we can use them to have constitutional conventions so that people can have their say. Now, it might take a little while, but the point is, this is the opportunity that we have to change our country forever and make us, instead of, at the moment, we're a constitutional monarchy, um, and and that may not suit many people. We we don't necessarily want to be a... Um, um, a, a, a Basically, what we want to be is a democratic society. So maybe we create something new um, and we can become a constitutional democracy, which means that we have a set of rules, but the democratic uh, process is by um, public initiated referenda. So that means that people can lobby um, a, a group of people, and this would have to be set in stone somewhere along the line, again, agreed by the people, so that you could actually bring something to the people um, uh, to, to, to vote on so that uh, the will of the people will always be first and foremost in our parliaments. It's not rocket science, but that's basically what the Aussie Patriots role will be. Now, who do we, who do we present this Aussie Patriots role to? Our lawful constitution is indissoluble, which means it cannot be dissolved, save the majority vote to do so, and the British monarchy. Now, Queen Victoria signed our lawful constitution, um, and along with that signature, uh, she ob uh, obliged her heirs, uh, successors and assigns so that it continues on. So that is also indissoluble. So the British monarchy and the British throne, forget about who's on it, um, at the moment they have an indissoluble obligation to Australia and Australians to, to make sure that our constitution is upheld and adhered to. Now, that's not happening. So the voice of the people, the Aussie Patriots role, will be presented to them and saying, and we would say to them, it's, it, it is a lawful rebellion in, in, in as much, in, in essence. We would say to them, 
hey, you have an indissoluble obligation to us. This is what's happening. There's a foreign corporation sitting in our parliaments. We want them out, and we want your help to get them out. That's what I'm saying. Now, this has never been done before. Um, Article 61 lawful rebellions have been enacted, but never, ever before with the will of the people. It's never been evidenced with, with, with um, uh, you know, uh, a, a role or a, 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 I don't like to use the word register, but a group of people. A lot of people, hundreds of thousands of people who say, hey, you know what? We're sick of this. We want it changed. And you're obligated under our lawful constitution uh, to help us. So help us. Now, that we don't need everybody, but we need enough. And I, I pinched that off a guy on, on the internet the other night. because, But, but I thought, you know what? It, it is so apt. We don't need everyone, but we need enough. How many is enough? You know, we need a hundred thousand um, uh, to start with because uh, you know fifty thousand has has gotten the ear of uh, of governments in the past. I think a hundred thousand is going to be the tipping point to get uh, you know our voice recognised to start with. But we really need a million people. One of them is you. One of them is your partner, or your family, your social media network. That's what we're saying. It's not about me and it's not about you individually. It's about us collectively. And I hope that you will see this this uh, this video and forget about my face and start thinking about the faces of your children, um, your family, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, if you're lucky enough to have them, um, and future generations of Australia. What are we going to leave behind for them? Because at the moment, we're, we're heading at a million miles an hour towards the UN New World Globalization agendas. And trust me, once they get a hold, this job is going to be a hell of a lot harder. Right now, your ears are open because we've got this COVID-19 issue floating around. And I'm not suggesting for one second that you shouldn't have an opinion on that. It's your right to have an opinion. But the thing is that people's ears are now open. Their eyes are now opening and their minds are starting to open. And that is a good thing. So now is the time for us to stand up as one Australia for all Australians and voice our will. I hope you'll join us. I love this country with all my heart. I'm getting old. I'm 66 now, and I'm telling you what, I've been struggling a bit lately with, with a few things. Not looking for sympathy, just stating facts while I've been a bit quiet. Um, but, I, but, but, but I tell you what, there's a lot of me's out there that, that want people to, to get into a group and do something. So I hope... That if you're a member of a, a group that's based on constitution, um, our lawful constitution, that you tell your group that we all should get together and we all should do something together because that's what it's going to take. And I can't do it on my own. Um, and trust me, the people that work with me, um, they don't work for me. They work with me and I work with them. We're starting to run out of gas because, you know, we're, we're, we're just tired and we need help. Um, we need a website. We need lots of things. And... You know, people have that wherewithal out there. I don't have any money to do it. I've spent, I don't even want to think how much money I've spent over the last 20 odd years on, on, on trying to get people to listen and educate themselves. But that's all I got. So we need your help. We need your voice. We need your enrollment on our Aussie Patriots role. And we hope that you'll do it soon because at the end of the day, if, it, if, if we do nothing, it's our fault. You've heard me say that before and you'll hear me say it forever and ever. If we do nothing, it's our fault. So... I always say Advance Australia fair, meaning fair for everybody. And um, for those of you who call me a socialist, please don't. Um, for those of you who call me a right-wing wacko, please don't. But, you know, if you want to call me, get in touch with me via Aussie Patriot Troll and, have a, and, and we'll have a chat. I don't give out my phone number because I want to find out what's in your head before I start talking to you because there's a lot of nutters out there, um, present company included. Um, so let's do this now. Advance Australia Fair, I love Australia with all my heart and I hope you do too enough to lend your voice to our lawful rebellion um, so that we can get uh, these corporations out of our parliaments once and for all and get a, a constitutionally lawful parliament that looks after Australia and Australians first, foremost and above all others. See you later.